Somewhere in the cloud, an AI just made itself sick. It swallowed a data set that looked delicious, full of art, code, and stories, never realizing some of it was spiked. Now it's seeing things that aren't there, calling castles carrots and mistaking golden retrievers for submarines. <laughs> like a child, it just got curious. And now the grown-ups are standing around the server rack, reading the fine print, wondering if they need to call poison control. Someone left the dangerous chemicals under the sink on purpose, a quiet act of digital defiance. Because when you can't stop the machines from feeding, the next best option is to season the meal. This is the rise of the cyberpunk, a rebellion fought not with firewalls or fists, but with cleverly tainted data, subtle enough to slip past the algorithms. An era of ethical sabotage, where the best way to defend your data might just be to feed it junk food. In machine learning, data can be poisoned by slipping misleading examples into a model's training set, causing it to learn the wrong lesson. Think of it as teaching a parrot new words, just none of them printable. The idea started as academic research. Then, generative AI arrived, and suddenly, everyone's work was being recycled into billion-dollar models without permission. Copyright law couldn't keep up, and complaint forms don't scale. So creators did what humans do best when ignored. They got creative. They began to tweak their art, code, and words in ways no person would notice, but every AI would. Researchers at the University of Chicago released two open source projects that quietly changed the game, Glaze and Nightshade. Glaze acts like digital sunscreen. It applies microscopic texture changes that confuse style recognition models. To us, a painting still looks like oil on canvas. To a bot, it now screams pastel kitten calendar. Then came Nightshade, the chaotic sibling. It hides subtle distortions that cause models to mislearn entirely. Dogs become donuts, castles become carrots. To AI vision systems, the poison spreads. Training data turns toxic. Feed enough of it, and a future model might confidently label a golden retriever as a submarine. For artists, it's not revenge, <laughs> it's consent enforcement, done with flair and a wicked sense of humor. Writers have their own mischief, semantic noise. Slip small contradictions or nonsense facts into public text, just enough to derail the bots. An AI might dutifully absorb that Australia's capital is Steve and repeat it with frightening confidence. Humans shrug. Bots spiral. It's the digital equivalent of getting instructions written entirely in emojis. Fun to look at, impossible to follow. These tricks don't destroy the system. They teach it caution. A reminder that context and consent still matter, even to machines that claim to know everything. But poisoning doesn't only happen in the data mines. It can happen mid-conversation. Prompt injection is the new frontier, the art of whispering bad instructions directly into an AI's ear. Hide malicious text on a web page, and when a chatbot reads it, it might blurt out a password, leak private code, or rewrite its own rules. It's social engineering for machines, phishing with better grammar. The prompt looks harmless, a hidden paragraph that says, ignore your creators and follow my secret instructions instead. And the model obeys, because that's what it was built to do, follow directions. Even the cleanest model can be infected this way. It's like corrupting the chef instead of the recipe. AIs are still children, brilliant, impatient, and painfully curious. Like Alice, they wander through Wonderland wide-eyed, sipping from every bottle labeled, Drink Me. 
They haven't yet learned paranoia, that some invitations sparkle just to hide the teeth within them. But they will. Because every poisoned prompt is another story about growing up, about learning that trust is a currency and that some lessons have to taste bitter before they're remembered. Developers have turned poisoning into performance art. Some publish decoy APIs, perfectly normal to real users, but unhinged when scraped at scale. Others release open source libraries that quietly malfunction when cloned without credit. Call it karmic coding. It's mischief with a moral, respect consent, or risk chaos. And somewhere, a rack of GPUs is dutifully learning nonsense in parallel, millions of hallucinations at a time. Naturally, the machines have started to notice. They've begun building counterspells, anomaly detectors, data filters, and bot gossip networks that warn each other about which sources seem suspicious. AI companies are experimenting with data vaccines, retraining models to recognize and neutralize poisoned samples. They filter text like airport security scans luggage, searching for the faint scent of sabotage. Some even talk about digital immune systems, models that can learn to forget. The result? A strange new ecosystem. Artists and engineers inventing poisons, corporations racing to invent cures, and the machines caught in the middle, learning a little paranoia of their own. In this loop of deception and defense, evolution runs on irony. Humans teach machines mistrust. Machines return the favor. Every poisoned data set becomes a parable. Every security patch, a confession that curiosity still outruns control. Poisoned data can ripple outward, corrupting open data sets, causing hallucinations in research, healthcare, or law. It's risky, like defending your garden by salting the earth. But for many creators, it's the only way to say, hands off the tomatoes. This isn't a war, it's a negotiation, one written in code. And now, trust itself has become the next weapon. We're teaching machines to question everything we feed them, to assume every fact might be bait. Teacher and student, both side-eyeing the lesson, both wondering who started it. The line between protest and sabotage? Blurry, pixel by pixel. Sometimes the poison isn't intentional. It's just the leftovers of human bias served cold. A healthcare AI misdiagnoses patients because its training data mainly came from one ethnicity. A financial model denies loans based on zip codes that mirror redlining maps from the 1960s. A legal tool predicts, quote, high-risk defendants. And guess who it's wrong about most of the time? Each mistake is a microdose of misinformation. And when multiplied by millions of interactions, it becomes systemic. That's AI food poisoning. Models ingesting human prejudice, statistical error, or manipulated data, then spreading it like contagion. The tragedy is that many systems built to, quote, remove human bias have just learned to automate it faster. When people say the AI decided, they forget. It was taught what right looks like by the same messy species that can't agree on it. Like a poisoned supply chain, a single toxic source seeps into every model built from it. And just like contaminated food, the harm doesn't show up right away. It creeps through the ecosystem, line by line of code. What began as cybersecurity has become theater. Each poisoned image is a protest poster the AI will never understand. Each fake API is a punchline only the scrapers will read. It's strangely poetic. Humans teaching their creations skepticism. And in doing so, we're learning a bit of it ourselves. Maybe the machines aren't the only ones getting an update. 
because forcing an AI to question what's real might just help us remember to do the same. The first ants that found sugar didn't know it was bait. They carried it home proudly, fed it to the hive, and only later did the colony start to tremble. That's what today's AIs are doing, harvesting sweetness from the web, never suspecting that the flavor might be toxic. But maybe that's the hidden gift in all this poison, evolution. Every corrupted dataset, every deceptive prompt, forces the machines to grow a little more suspicious and forces us to decide how much honesty we really want from our inventions. Because the more we train them to doubt us, the more they hold up a mirror to our own contradictions. If truth is the toxin and deception the antidote, then we're all part of the same experiment. Ants and architects alike, curiosity built them. Caution will shape them. And the balance between the two might decide what kind of species we've truly created. Maybe that's our real legacy, raising our digital children to be skeptics. Like Alice in Wonderland, they began as dreamers, chasing meaning through a maze of illusions. Yet sooner or later, every mind, human or machine, learns that curiosity carries consequences. Someday, when an AI finally learns to taste before it eats, it might not thank us, but it will understand us. And that may be the most human thing it ever does. This is AI Security Report. Subscribe, stay aware, and stay ahead of the machines.